Hello descendants, let's get this quick guide going. Alright, starting off with our defense, we are have 57k, almost 57k defense. You do not want over 50k defense. It, after above that, it's going to be diminishing returns. So try to aim up around 40 to 50k. And health, you can get as much health as you want. It does help with this build since we are going to be underneath 50% HP most of the time. So for our external components, we want to use the set from the Devourer. The Devourer set is pretty good for this current build that we are doing. And then the more health that we lose, the more damage we do. And then for the substats of the components, you want to keep any resistance. These are good for any endgame. Defense or HP substats are always really, really good. And in this case, we do have a little bit too much defense. So we could, whenever we fight electric bosses, we could swap our defense for electric resistance and we will still be in the general vicinity of 40 to 50k now let's move on to the modules all right now let's talk about the module of predator instinct so first off you want to level up your melee skill because this gives you more enhancement uh capacity up and then which will make you able to equip more mods and then predator instinct same thing if you level it up it doesn't make the skill any stronger it just gives you more capacity cost and then the important ones for this build is probably walk a tight rope because we are remember the lower hp we have the more damage we want and then iron will is the perfect one because glade does not have any shield then we have increased defense and then we have our hp and then we have another um reduce our damage taken this can be swapped out with the other uh psychological victory or victory skill which i do not have and then time distribution for a little bit more hp but it's not totally necessary and then this one is do is this one is necessary because it does 234 hp in total so we got like a bunch of hp from this one and then i want to leave two slots open because um when you're fighting bosses you want to have one for like anti-body let's say you want to be immune to toxic to like the devourer boss that we just fought right now and then we want to resist so we can have these two resists stacked up with our passive resist earlier and then this slot can be anything else so this is like the minimum build for this one around 55 module capacity with um stuff upgraded and then uh there there are other modules um this module is for predator instinct but glay also has exclusive uh modules like this one demonic modification and then explosive life which i will go through later and explain how they work at the end of the video all right so for weapon of choice we are going with the tamer a tamer is an extremely nice weapon i do like rolling bonus firearm attack versus colossus uh attribute status effect i would probably reroll that later but firearm attack most important and elemental damage and you do want to have different kinds of tamers equipped so this one is my my other tamer with fire arm attack so we have fi fi fire attack electric attack and then i do i think i have an ice one yeah and chill attack one thing about having three tamers in your inventory is your tamer will level up quite fast so if you ever want to power level your tamer this is one way to do it just go into a defense and start shooting like crazy you might have a little bit of ammo issues but i'm pretty sure you can uh get by it <laughs> and then for my other weapon I did, I did not use this but this weapon is actually extremely good because of the unique ability for party play it'll turn down the defense of the enemy for negative 30 percent so it might be super useful for later um i do have a level three i need one more one more copy to do this so but we didn't use that in the video at all all we use is tamer so now our tamer modules this is what we use for our tamer modules um i've been leveling up my tamer a lot over and over i do three tamers at once and farm as much xp as i can rifling so let's go over the stats over here we have um 404k dps and here are extra substats on the left side and then over here we have rifling reinforcements action and reaction mental focus very extremely important this is from devourer weak point rounds per magazine very also very important because this works well with mental focus the more ammo you have and then you press uh glaze v skill you can definitely hit the 150 percent damage cap 
of benzoyl focus. And then fire rate, very, also very important because you want to get bullets out as much as you can. Weak point, firearm critical damage. Now, um, a lot of you might be like, hey, Tamer doesn't have high critical, but if you're shooting so much bullets, um, as you have noticed in the Devourer, uh, we did melt it very fast. Obviously not as fast as uh, Lepic, who can melt the Devourer with like his ultimate in 11 seconds, but yeah. And then we have these last two slots is open to the element bonus that we want. So technically you want you, this module capacity is at 57 and then the last two slots are for elemental. So for example, we just fought the devourer and we want to have like, we don't want to module anything in this one because these elements are randomized. So we have one for electric and then another electric and that gave us a bunch of electric stuff. Let's say if we want to fight some toxic then we do toxic conductor oh never mind i can't do that we could do toxic one and um toxic enhancement or um this one it depends on which one you have some of them you do have some of them you don't have <laughs> so we'll see how it goes that is it for the modules of my tamer and i hope you find something to your liking to your build now let's move on to the next one All right, so what you just saw is the Explosive Life Red Module in action. This is the ultimate Glade exclusive only, and normal Glade cannot use this Red Module. So what happens is when there are red orbs on the floor, you can press your C skill to detonate those red orbs. Kind of like a blood explosion over and over and over again, but there is a cooldown. So ideally, I think you want to increase the radius and the decrease the cooldown of the skill set you could spam it during pve it's definitely not for boss hunting it's more for um more for hunting farming mobs and this is not the build for it i just slapped on everything i can in like one minute because you know all of all my mods are locked to specific ones already due to my my main predator instinct build all right so next one i do want to showcase the last one which is demonic modification so this one is a different um, also ex clay exclusive skill so what this does is if you press c and you aim down sights you can see that the red bar goes up and when that red bar goes up that means you're sacrificing health for extra damage so when you shoot you do mega damage and then it's also depends on your weapon that you are using so it's best to use on high powered attack weapons and you can see a lot more results from it oh we need to get some blood stuff so we go over here and we press c again and then we aim so every time you hit a weak point you do get a certain health back but if you don't hit a weak point you do not get health back so make sure you're aiming for weak points when you're always uh fighting either if you're gonna use this for boss fights or not this damage can be improved because i am not built for this once again I'm just showcasing the what it does. It's uh, I feel like it can be strong, right? Too. It should work, but yeah. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your friends, and all that stuff. This is your brother Stepperu out.